September 23rd. I'm reading at least 20 minutes a day for every day in September and posting a short video about it. This is to raise visibility for the Trevor Project and to show support for someone in my life. So I was thinking today about um, some writers that maybe have these really great works that are a little more obscure. And so I kind of came up with a list of books by some somewhat popular popular writers that maybe you haven't heard of. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about those real briefly. And then, um, you know, I'm out here in the garage today for weather and uh, noise related reasons. So uh, anyways, here we go. I uh, had to write these down. That's how obscure they are. And uh, I'm going to use my readers here. Here we go. Okay. The first is uh, by Isaac Asimov. Uh, it's a book called uh, God's Toothpick. And it's about this uh, sort of astronomical uh, structure that's traveling through space, heading for a planet, and there's sort of like this mad rush to prevent a collision. Um, it was actually part of a series. The, uh, the second book in the series, uh, God's Dum Dum, uh, is really difficult to find for copyright reasons. And then uh, the third book in the series, uh, God's Toothpaste, is, uh, is kind of, it kind of stretches the narrative a little far. I think they went a little too far with it. So, uh, you know, whatever. You can see these out. The first one is worth it, but the, the rest of them, you know, take them or leave them. Okay. Uh, another one is a book by Stephen King, a, a collection of his short stories. It's kind of early in his career. It's uh, Spooky Stories to Tell Your Cowboy. And uh, especially in that particular collection, uh, what I think is the best is uh, the Goldfish Morgue. Uh, really, really great, creepy stuff. Uh, good stuff. A lot of uh, like Lovecraftian vibes. Okay. Um, you know, I I looked up how to say Savakowski, the writer's last name of the Witcher series, and it literally just flew out of my head. So you're going to have to imagine I say the correct thing here. Uh, anyhow, but it's a it's a more obscure uh, Witcher story called uh, Witcher Texas Ranger. Um, it's really good, kind of a uh, kind of a Western sort of mix up. Uh, great stuff there. A lot of roundhouse kicks in that book. A surprising number. Um, so worth looking into. Uh, kind of difficult to find. I'm not certain that it's been translated into English, but uh, if you look, I'm sure that there's a fan translation somewhere. Uh, okay, the next is a book by Harlan Ellison, uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Walk My Dog. <sighs> really uh, powerful, um, like really uh, piercing ideas in this short story collection. Really great stuff. Really great stuff. Really? It's Andre Sapolsky. Andre Sapolsky. That's the name. Andre, Andre, support, or Andre, support, Andre, that's how you say it. Oh, Andre, it's Andre, support, Andre. <sighs> Never any peace. So, I have no mouth and must walk my dog. Harlan Ellison, take a look. Uh, next is a Jack Vance story. It sort of inserts itself later into the um, the world of uh, the Planet of Adventure series, and it's a uh, Adam Reith Spaceship Repair Shop. Really great stuff. Uh, you know, it's sort of a uh, these a lot of these anecdotal stories. You get a little more uh, insight into Adam Reith and, and the stuff that he does. Uh, good stuff. You know, people you know come to him and they have problems with their spaceships, and he sort of fixes them up, and then they kind of you know tell these sort of little narratives about why their spaceship got messed up and Adam Reese sort of resolves all their problems as he typically does everybody's problems. And the last is uh, Larry McMurdy's uh, The Forgotten Mountains of Texas. It's the only nonfiction book here and it talks about how Texans have this real issue with talking about the big mountain range that they have in their state. Um, and how it's sort of obscured in literature and in geography. 
Uh, really interesting read, a great insight into the uh, Texas psyche. So uh, that's it. I uh, appreciate it if you uh, took the time to watch today. Uh, seek these books out. Go to your local library. Uh, you know, you're going to have a hard time finding them on the internet, so you're probably going to have to go to, you know, your more obscure bookshops or, you know, maybe the library can help you with this stuff. Uh, but look, them, look for them and uh, have fun. Thanks.